Welcome to this edition of Falcon Focus. I'm your host, Vaughn Purdy, Vice President of Community Engagement for Simmons College of Kentucky. Today's show is so exciting. I am happy to introduce you to the main reason that we exist at Simmons College of Kentucky, and that's our students. So you're going to meet two of our very important students. With me today in the studio is Ms. Jada Smith, who's a senior at Simmons College of Kentucky, and Ms. Terry Turner, who is now a rising junior at Simmons College of Kentucky. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. So let me just start with the basics. I know our guests want to know, our audience wants to know who you all are. So let's start with you, Jada. Tell us how you heard about Simmons and uh, what made you choose Simmons College of Kentucky. Um, how I heard about Simmons is from actually Mr. Julian Sam in the River City Drum Corps. The River City Drum Corps is um, based, actually a drum corps that introduces us to different historically black colleges and universities. And Simmons is one of the feeder schools and we had a couple performances and then talking to the late Mr. Julian Sam, he's like, I know you wanted to go to Tennessee State. But he said, but I got a scholarship for you and I have a good opportunity for you. It's a good place to start if you want to stay home. And then I think at split second decision, I said, I think I'm going to stay home and be with my family. And that's what actually drove me and kept me to stay at Okay, well tell us, you've been here, this is your senior year? Yes, ma'am. And that says a lot about being <laughs> here. So tell us how the experience has been. It's been, it's, been an experience that's literally how I can explain it I had some moments of my personal life that was in some downs but being here at Simmons has helped me grow as a person as the pers professional development like I've been put in situations where I got leadership roles I'm like Miss Simmons I do recruitment mm -hmm. and it has basically opened up a lot of doors that I didn't even think were even possible for be open for me oh wonderful wonderful and Miss Terry, Terry tell, a, tell our audience a little bit about you and your journey here Yes, ma'am. So I am Terry Turner once again, all the way from Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. Yay. A lot of people ask me all the time, um, why did I choose Simmons? Because I pass up TSU, Fisk, Trevecca. I pass up a lot of schools, a lot of HBCUs. Uh, Simmons College was definitely a last minute decision. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I graduated in 2017 in high school and I immediately wanted to go to the Army. Mm. I took the ASVAB, which is the military test. A lot of people don't know what that is. And I failed it. And I thought to myself, I could be somewhere in college somewhere because I felt this for a reason. Dr. Davenport is one of the band directors here at Simmons College, and he had came to one of the performances we had my senior year, um, late in the spring. And he gave me his number, gave me a few things to look over about the school. I'm like, I never heard of Simmons. Like, and then a lot, we don't and a lot to, of people yeah. say that because we are one of the last HBCUs that yeah. people think of. And so I thought of it as a last minute decision. I got a scholarship right on the spot, band scholarship, academic scholarship, and I said I'll run with it. Don't have any family here, but it's definitely, it was definitely worth the decision I made. Good, good. I remember Terry. Uh, now both of you all are in the band. Yes, yes ma'am. Tell us about that experience. Thank you for letting me go first. <laughs> we must give reverence to our uh, dearly departed colleague, Julian Sams, who we miss every day, every day we think of him. And because of Julian Sams, I like to think that you all are here. So he would be happy uh, on your walk and the fact that you are still students here and that we are raising the HBCU to different levels. So thank you for still being here. And tell us why the band and how is that been? I'm let you go first. The band has been great. We progressing um, every year. RIP, rest in peace to Mr. Sam. He did so many great things for us. Mm -hmm. We have our new uniforms. Yeah. Cause of him, cause of all of us that put in that hard work. Uh, we did a performance with Usher. A lot of people don't know about that. Right, it, I was there. Yeah, <laughs> man, that was her. It was, during, it was during the, the derby. derby. Yes, yeah, the derby. It was the weekend yeah. after derby. It was at the derby. Yeah. I was there on the front row to make sure I saw you. I'm <laughs> very, very proud to be a part of Simmons and to see you all because it's a life changing experience to, to be there with Usher and Steve Harvey. Right, oh, yeah, Steve Harvey. Harvey. Yep. Yeah. So, the band has been a roller coaster. It's up, ups and downs, but I feel like it's a family. Those that I came in with are the reason why I'm here still in band today. So I definitely appreciate the band. They've done so many things for us. We just got done doing a performance last week for the governor. That was turned, so yes. got a lot of things going on. Yes, we, we just announced that we have a street sign to identify Simmons right here in downtown Louisville, right off of six, Highway 65. Mm -hmm. For those of you who are local, ride by Highway 65, north or south, the Catherine Street exit is where Simmons College is, and that's where the new signs are. Mm -hmm. So, 
Jada, yeah. tell us about your band experience. My band experience, I honestly want to say has been out of this world. I've, in high school, I didn't really do band. I didn't drum corps, so this is my first time experiencing marching band, and I honestly say I love it. Like, I've never, I don't want to say I had a bad experience. Mm -hmm. So as a marching band. Were you in, were you, what, what high school did you attend? I attended uh, Shawnee High School. Okay, and then were you in the march, did you in the marching band? No, Shawnee? I went, um, well Shawnee was starting a marching band and the program got defunded. Okay. And then the River City Drum Corps, Mr. Nardy White, he yeah. came to us, he mm -hmm. said, you know, I got my own drum one, if you want to come, you could come. Mm -hmm. I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> if not, Mr. It, White does great work yes. in the community. Shout yes. out to him. Yes, he's saying if you don't, it's been good working with you. And my friends, they convinced me. They was like, Chayda, come on, let's do it. I said, man, I can't even dance. So they was like, <laughs> you don't have to dance. I said, now, y'all just sat here and danced in front of me. Now I don't have to dance. And they was like, no. And ever since then, I've been stuck to playing percussion. Like, okay. So that's kind of what drove me here is like, being around percussion and okay. meeting Mr. Sam because Mr. Sam was my instructor there and then being here at Simmons learning like how to do certain things it's like I'm I love to learn so okay. like learning how to be in a marching band and learning drills and learning how to march and learning new pieces like it excites me so it's actually been like an out-of-body enjoyable experience like I've got to meet different people. Like she said, we got to talk to meet the governor last week mm -hmm. and perform for him today. We have a performance at yes, Habitat for Humanity. Habitat so it's like, and then the best part about it is being in the drum line, all of us come from Louisville. Like, we came from Central High School, the River City Drum Corps, Iroquois. So, like, we're always on call. So it's kind of like a thrill, like, Yay! Don't know what I'm gonna do today, but I better have a performance. Right. So it's kind of like an like an adrenaline pumping experience. Okay, so what's the most grueling part about being in the band? Is there a patience? Part? I feel like patience. Yes, mm -hmm. patience into because I like to. I'm a fast learner, mm -hmm. so I'm like ready to learn to the next thing, the next thing. But I gotta be considerate of my bandmates. Yeah. Like they don't know it yet, so we gotta <laughs> take our time. Like come on, we got a performance this week. Yes. I feel yes. like that's the most challenging part for me is just the patience. Okay. And patience yeah. in my aspect, I want to say like everybody is different and like most of our student body is from out of state, state. so there's different <laughs> types of people wow. so like i'm trying to learn oh people from nashville operate like this yeah. people from washington dc operates like, like <laughs> oh the boston boys okay mm -hmm. so it's kind of trying to learn how to deal with different mm -hmm. people because that's good that's what college yes. does that teaches yes. a variety of it's, people and personality yes so it's wonderful now let's talk about your academics mm -hmm. what is your major my major is general studies right now and what do you plan to do with general studies or what do you plan to do post-graduation because you are a senior. Yes. So post-graduation I plan on attending another institution and getting my degree in elementary education with a minor in I just decided marketing and history because okay. I, I have a business side of me that not a lot of people know. And then after that I plan on going to get my master's and then in interdisciplinary studies okay. and then I'm going to pursue being a teacher and then go forth to being an assistant principal. Wonderful, okay. wonderful. She has a plan of that. <laughs> Teacher. Wonderful. Terry, what about you? I am a cross-cultural communication uh -huh. major. Yes, Tell our audience what that means and what, it, what some of your courses you've taken. Okay, so uh, this semester is actually the time that I'm starting to take all of my communication courses since I just got done finishing my general studies degree. I'm taking Latino, Asian, um, inter- cultural communication oh, wow. so I'm starting to dig into a lot of other cultures right now with my degree and um, what I want to do with that is currently I'm working on a podcast just like what we're doing now this is exactly <laughs> what I want to do literally like I literally want to have a um, I want to get into more radio broadcasting um, sitting down with people talking to people just using my voice that's what I can Oh, good. That is good. I think you you one of the standouts. This is why you're probably on this show, both of you all. <laughs> both of you all. Well, tell us how it's been to... Terry, you're from out of town. How do you like the Louisville community? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not home. Like, everybody knows home is always home. Uh, it's very different. Uh -huh. What does that mean? Uh, stab okay, it's very different. Uh, it's different people. So, uh, a lot of things I feel like are, like slow here like as far as like we get a lot of up-to-date stuff in Nashville and then come Louisville it's kind of like a little bit that like a little bit longer to process but y'all you all like support y'all's colleges a lot more like as if it was a pro team how we have the Tennessee Titans y'all have University of Louisville exactly University so Louisville. yeah so like okay. yeah, yeah. And it's so, I feel like a lot of people are a lot of college heads here mm -hmm. and I, I respect that and mm -hmm. a lot of people are different but I feel like 
A lot of people are family here, and you can connect with people a lot more in Louisville, I feel like, in, instead of Nashville. Right, and when Nashville has, how many people? Nashville has two million? Yeah, lots. probably two million. Mm -hmm. And they have a professional sports mm -hmm. team, and it's just the larger city. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have four HBCUs or three? Four. Four HBCUs, and then they have uh, Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, Tribeca, of, yeah, all of those. So a lot of different schools. And Louisville is Louisville. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, from being from Louisville, Jada, yes, no. get, tell our audience your viewpoint of Louisville. Um, it's home to you. It's, it's home. It's like Terry said, it's kind of slow, but you appreciate mm. the little things and the slow things Thanks. that happen in the city. Like, Derby is my favorite time of the year, and not just because my birthday's the week before Derby. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's like, it's so much going on. It's like, that's when the city feels at its most fast paced. Mm -hmm. Like, it gives you something to be excited for like you have the derby and then we have the fair like a couple months later so you'd be like oh man I get to go get some funnel cakes twice in six months like <laughs> so it's just it's just home like you know when you know home it's home like it's something comfortable like it's kind of different because I like fast-paced cities I've been to Nashville and I, I love Nashville mm -hmm. but like when I come home I'll be like it's home Man, yes. I'm happy. Okay. It's different, but I'm happy. Well, I'm from a small town in North Carolina, so I understand. <laughs> I understand. Louisville, to me, is there are roughly a million people, maybe, but you have to go all the way around to get the million people. But mm -hmm. it's a place that um, is more and more diverse. Yes. Of thought, diversity of thought, uh, just the different cliques of people mm -hmm. all around town. So I think. The good thing that we do here at Simmons, of course, is to raise the awareness, of course, of our HBCU, mm -hmm. and we tap into black culture mm -hmm. that we do at Simmons, and I think that's needed in a city like Louisville and cities across the country. As you all know, we're the 101 HBCU, and we are always letting people know who Simmons is, and I think students like you um, are important to showcase. This is why I wanted to have you on the show to talk about why you want to go to Simmons and what you hope to accomplish when you get here. So if you had to reach back and tell your freshman students, oh, let, before we go into that, <laughs> Terry, tell us a little bit more about what you're doing because you're also doing something new this year. Mm -hmm. You are a Resident. involved in RA, mm -hmm. resident assistance at the housing for Halden. Yes. And for those people in the, watching who don't know, we have a partnership now with Spalding University right down the street uh, where we have some of our students in dorms. Mm -hmm. And Terry is an, an, a resident assistant. assistant. <laughs> How is that going? It's a roller coaster. But um, <laughs> it's my first time being a resident assistant. We have to adapt to other race. Right. Other, we, we are, Culture. like you said, other mm -hmm. cultures. We're not staying in our own, so we have to respect the space. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's been different, but also letting them know up front what to expect and what to do and what not to do. Right. Then they're going to tie into it because y'all know that's not our stuff. So it's like, we got to do this, y'all. Be so on the lookout. what you have to do when, she, when you're saying y'all, you actually mean the students. The of, students of Simmons. Of I'm Simmons. sorry, yeah. The who Simmons are students. Who mm -hmm. are thrust into a new environment, mm -hmm. but it teaches us all to work well together. Yep. And how many students are over there? I would say about 30. Okay. Roughly good, 30. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. And how's the experience been so far? It's For been them. fine. Can it's, you tell? It's great. We all grateful because we we yes. came from no Nothing. housing, no, no housing. food plan, yes. no anything yes. to lay in our head somewhere where we can go to every night. Not really worrying about paying more for rent like we mm -hmm. were doing in mm -hmm. the past. So mm -hmm. if we grateful. I feel like everybody's grateful and taking advantage of what we can for right now. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. I hope that. And what do you do? Jada, in your spare time, are you working? <laughs> That's the list. So Tell us more. I am a member of the SGA. I'm also Miss C Senior. I am a part of the Recruitment Ambassador Program. I'm also in the marching band. So oh. I do. I love. How do you manage? And how many hours are you carrying? Uh, fifteen. Okay. So how you manage? All um. Of this? Well, I had to actually. I did a lot in high school, so I'm kind of used to having a lot of responsibilities. But I like being active. So what I do is. Most of my classes are on the same day, okay. and all of my responsibilities take place on the days I don't have classes. That's smart. So, That's very smart. so on like Mondays and Wednesdays are most of my classes, so I do all of my work, go to school, and I do all my work that night, and do some in the morning, and then before 10.30, I have like, I do some if I need to, mm -hmm. and then at 10.30, I go to my school responsibilities. Oh, wow. So like, 
uh, I do recruitment on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, and now I'm going to dive into that recruitment piece. Tell us exactly what you do to help recruit. Um, recruit. I'm the lead recruit student, one of the lead student recruitment ambassadors. So what I do is I help do the tour guides. Okay. I'm basically the missions and actual recruitments right hand women, woman. Sorry. <laughs> um, I do like campus visits. I have one like next week that I have to keep in the back of my head. Um, so anything that reduces recruitment or training rec new people to be a part of recruitment, I do it. So. Okay, great. So are we doing, we're doing virtual and in person, yes. correct? So, yes, yes. Okay. So <laughs> like we were talking about doing a virtual tour, setting it up somehow, some way, mm -hmm. and also on top of how we're going to operate doing new t campus tours, like so what we do for groups, okay, do they get a bag, okay, who they need to see if they're interested in coming to the school. So basically, anything about the school, I have to know in my brain. So if you need the history about the school, I can give you a rundown oh, in about wonderful. five minutes. That is wonderful. To one. So you all have been around, Terry, you've been around, this is your third year, your fourth year. Mm, like fourth. It's a fourth. It's yeah, fourth. You've we noticed some year. changes on campus. Campus improvements have been taking place. I know we start think we started some things and we're slow going, but we're moving in that direction. What do you what would you all like to see, even more so on campus? More Greek life, okay. more alumni coming back and helping us, getting a lot of big things going on. Linking with Kentucky State, I know um, that was something that the governor said last week yeah. um, about us having a big partnership with them. Just them coming, you know, they know we're a small H HBCU, mm -hmm. you know, and they have their. Everything is established and everything, but we just need that that no, motivation and that support from others, really, to engage with us. Because we we are so ready to do yes. things, parties. We ready to do a lot of yes. stuff, but we just need we need that that support that, from need, everyone yeah. and to come and not actually just say it and just actually do it. Okay, great, great, great. I think internally the administration is going to be working on those sorts of things, but we always need to hear your voices. Mm -hmm. The doors are open and we need you to just speak up and let us know what you need. Now, if you had to look back um, on your college career so far, what advice would you give to some of the freshman students? Um, be patient. Things will work out. Don't stress. It's part of growing. We're, we're in the transition of adulthood. And another thing is, just make sure you try to plan out everything that works best for you. Find yourself and don't get caught up in what's going on on the outside, pretty much. Okay. That's what I would say. And Terry? Definitely patience. I would say patience and just staying on top of everything. You get to college, you're not going to get those same calls that you get from your your guardians and mm -hmm. other people. You got to just do things on your own. Mm -hmm. So you kind of just got to have that patience and also just that time management and that self-discipline mm -hmm. to handle things in college. I think self-discipline, of course, is the most challenging thing for most yes. college students, no matter what environment you're in. So that's very important advice. So what advice have you been giving to your students over in your RA role? Do you talk to them? Do they come to I you for them. advice? They come to me all the time. I'm getting a text <laughs> message every day from somebody about their key, about something else or whatever. But um, that's I just, I kind of give my, I know one student, Something had happened and she was very uncomfortable with somebody that was outside, that was outside of the dorms, outside of our living. Mm -hmm. And I made sure she was okay and I went up there and I kind of talked to her like, we all have to stay, especially as women, we mm -hmm. all have to stay together. Mm -hmm. And um, when they come to me, I just give them advice that I can, the experiences that I've had, and also just letting them know that we came from nothing really. Like, the students that when we, me yes, and Jada came in together, together, like we didn't come to the housing that y'all have now, to the meal plans y'all have now. So I kind of expressed that to them so they could be a little bit more grateful because we didn't have this when we first came in. Oh, that was great, mm -hmm. great advice. But one thing we talked about, uh, Mr. Sam, earlier, one thing he always made sure of was that you all had food. Yes. That we ate, yes. That we, <laughs> we, we made sure we had donors and people to pour into student needs. And I like to say at Simmons we still do that. Mm -hmm. um, the students who are at Spalding have an, another option as mm -hmm. well, but we still provide food for the students either through uh, the pantry mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. So I want people to know that we still provide those and make sure we tell students that. So where do you all see yourself um, in five years? I'm going to go five. In five, in five years? years, where do you see yourself, Jayla? In five years, I see myself finishing my master's program I'm about to start going into my career or already a part doing my career in some type of nature whether it's just being in a daycare or just a preschool program or after school program something already 
teaching and going giving back because I personally believe that you have to start with a child when they're young. That's why I really enjoy preschoolers because you're giving them their foundation. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Terry, what kind of what do you where do you see yourself in five years? In five years I see myself either going in full flesh with one of my own shows mm -hmm. or a radio broadcast station. I really want to do that. Okay. So I see myself really just taking advantage of that. Because there's so much innovation right mm -hmm. now. You might be able to create the next Anybody. platform for... Yeah, yeah. I, I see both of you being successful. Thank you. I do, I do, I do. I'm speaking <laughs> into you. You're going to be successful. Thank you. I think Thanks. the things that we do, and remember, it's always okay to make a couple of mistakes. Thanks. You can always start over and do it again. But remember, we are here at Simmons College of Kentucky to help you. Music department at Simmons College now offers a gospel track for its music performance degree. Our Department of Music exists to develop musical knowledge and skill. Students become beneficiaries of program features and faculty that distinguish music as both an academic and artistic discipline. Program options include brass and woodwind instruments, as well as guitar, bass, strings, piano, percussion, and voice. Your gifts will be encouraged and developed by a staff of experienced performing musicians and by the warm support of your peers. You will have frequent opportunities to perform, including vocal ensemble, gospel choir, jazz ensemble, marching band, and other ensembles, both on and off campus. Your music program can go no higher than those who lead it. Now is your time to build a strong music ministry from within. Help support passion already in your community. Help develop gifts already in your congregation. You might have the next James Cleveland in your church and don't know it. The heritage of artistic dignity found at historic black colleges and universities the tradition of black excellence in gospel music, the calling to use your gift to turn hearts. Your journey toward obtaining a bachelor's degree in music starts now. Simmons College of Kentucky. Apply today. Become a part of the legacy. I'm very excited to introduce you to some of our students. Uh, I call this episode, Meet the Students, because everything we do here is all about our students. They are our customers. We are here to make sure they meet their educational goals and their needs, and they graduate to be successful. So with me today are two of our very young Seminites, or Falcons, uh, Miss Salem. Hello, yes, ma'am. And Mr. Evan, Hello. Evan Young. Nice to be here. Thank you for being here. And what I want to say about these two students is they have been here for since fall and they have very, been very eager and participate in everything I asked them to do. And one of the most recent things I asked them to do was to be in our magazine, not our magazine, but in a local magazine called Tops in a special edition called Inspire Black Louisville. And I had to get some students to be in and these two so graciously offered to be in. So I hope we can get a shot of this, but this is on the newsstands now here in October through this fall where it talks about Simmons College of Kentucky. And featured here are our two students uh, sitting to the right and left of me, Salem and Evan. So thank you all for being in here. And I hope um, so far you've had a great experience uh, here at Simmons. So what I wanna do is have you all uh, tell our audience why did you pick Simmons? Go. Thank you. Um, my reason for picking Simmons would be the fact that it is an HBCU. Okay. And it's Louisville's only HBCU. Mm -hmm. The way they support their students, whether that be financially or academically, 
I think that that is a big part of why you're here. Yes, ma'am. What high school did you attend? I went to Central High School, okay. also in West Louisville. Okay, great, great, great. So you're a product of West Louisville, yes. and Simmons is in West Louisville and Limerick, right next door to each other. So great, welcome to have you here. Thank now, you. Mr. Young, please tell me what brought you to Simmons and what made you select our HBCU. Uh, what brought me to Simmons was the fact that the assistant band director mm -hmm. um, became a student here. Um, he was my high school band director, and every time that he'd come, he'd always tell us stories okay. about um, Simmons and how good it was and how much opportunity that each student has, especially okay. with, with it being a small HBCU. Okay. Now tell our, tell our audience who, who you're talking about. I know who it is, but I want you to tell our um, audience and then how he's influenced you. Um, the assistant band director is Mr. DeMarco Brown. Um, he has influenced me because he is the one who first got me into band. Okay. Um, back when I was in sixth grade, actually. Mm -hmm. um, originally, it was my cousin that was going to be in this band program. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, at that time, I couldn't because I was only in middle school. Okay. But once I reached high school, I went to the high school that he was at with my cousin, and that's where everything started. So you moved here from? Uh, I moved here from Gainesville, Florida. Gainesville, oh, welcome. Um, but I went to three different high schools okay. throughout my high school career. And the last one where you met Mr. Brown was in Cincinnati? Um, actually, the first three uh, the first two, sorry, were the ones that I met Brown at, which okay. was um, Mount Auburn International Academy in Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. And then it was Woolworth Career Technical High School. Okay, okay. So the question everybody wants to know is how do you like them? You want to go first, Ms. Sam? I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely love Simmons. Simmons has been such a support and guidance through getting a degree and then learning how to navigate life and young adulthood after high school. Yes, because you all are both freshmen, right? Yes. And yes. you are learning, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Freshman year can be the trickiest for most students. You've been here about three months. So tell us about your experience, Ms. Dion. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, it's really been a pleasure, especially being far away from home. Okay. Um, I consider it being my new home. Oh, great, great, great. Now, now you all, did you know each other before you moved here, or you all just met each other when you were here on campus? How's it been, the social life is what I'm getting at. Have you been able to meet students, uh, and how's that going? The social life has been very interesting. Okay. And funny enough, we actually did meet unofficially okay. <laughs> at a band performance at Central High School oh. about two years before okay. coming to Simmons. Okay. And then after being in the dorms, we actually got to sit down and meet everyone. And that's when we became a part of the same marching okay. band. Okay. Okay. So tell us uh, how you like Louisville. It can be a different place. You come from Cincinnati. You've been here. So do you see yourself being here for um, after you graduate? Where would you like to be? I definitely see myself being in Louisville, whether that's living or moving back and forth. Okay. Um, I would definitely love to be in the community that's helped me. Okay, okay. Now I think everybody wants to know what you all major in. What are, what, what are you majoring in and what are your goals? Um, I major in business entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. um, my goals is to one day eventually get a master's and doctor's degree in business and probably get um, the undergrad degree in something else, maybe music. Okay. Um, I'm looking forward to higher education. I already have my um, years planned out on how I want to do things. Okay, good, 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 good. Now the one thing, no one expects you all to have the answers. It's called life. Uh, we just want to be a part of your growth, Simmons does and we want to know what's best for you. Now, are you, both of you a part of the the new dormitory life at Spalding? Yes. yes. Okay. How is that going? Um, the dorm life is actually going very great, mm -hmm. um, especially with 
me talking to other professors mm -hmm. um, from some of the local high schools and okay. um, stuff like that. They were talking about how this is, that it was something that they didn't have. Okay. And that even from the way that I was describing it, it sounds like it's a very good place. Okay, to be on campus housing, yes, I think um, having nearby campus housing is a plus for Simmons because when we, two years ago that didn't exist. So now we have a partnership with Spalding University and we have housing for our students and you're one of them. And if I'm not mistaken, a part of the Spalding plan is also uh, food service. So that's a part of the package as well. And it's just a couple of blocks from campus. So tell us about your experience. My experience um, being in the dormitories um, has been great. Getting to be in the same space as soon as we're on the same path as you or not, not the same path, then interested in the same goals that you have. Okay. Okay. So tell us about your classes. I know a lot of people watching want to know how classes are at Simmons. Do you take, uh, you're both general studies right now, so you're probably taking some uh, different classes. Can you tell us one of your favorite classes? One of my favorite classes would definitely be the communications course. Okay. I think that helps a lot with daily communication and learning how to interact with people, especially from a different background. Okay, that's wonderful. And yeah, your classes? Um, I can say my favorite class out of the bunch would probably be critical thinking. Okay. Um, because it helps me evaluate not only myself but others around me. It helps me to be able to identify the way that somebody's feeling, not even having to speak to them. Okay, that is very interesting, very intriguing. So I know you're not supposed to say it, but do you have a favorite um, professor yet? You can just say yes or no, you don't have to name the person, but. How have your professors helped shape your thinking and um, established uh, the HBCU nurturing environment part of it all? How is that going? Is that your experience? Yes, um, absolutely. Uh, one of the professors who I think has definitely had a large impact um, in that area will be Professor Gray or Dr. Gray, mm -hmm. um, the Pathways teacher. She yes. helped. But yeah, she uh, Dr. Gray is one of our newest uh, people here at Simmons. She's actually been a guest on this show as well. And she has some really, really innovative, uh, creative ideas to get students more engaged. So please take advantage of that. So what are some of the things you'd like to see us do a little bit better at Simmons? Mr. Young? Um, I think one thing would probably be community outreach. Okay. Um, both on engagement on the students at Simmons and the people that are around okay. um, because if we want to grow as a HBCU it can't just be just us right it has to be community outreach it has to be the marketing we has we got to be out there okay and we got to show like we are an HBCU as well mm -hmm. there may be you may know of the big ones like okay you can go to Texas Southern, you can go to Tennessee State, you can go to Jackson State, you can go to Southern University, you can go anywhere, but we want you to come here. Right. And we would be honored to have you here as a part of the Falcon family. Oh, that is wonderful, wonderful. I couldn't have said any better myself. That is the reason I asked you all to be in this magazine, because a part of what we're doing also is community engagement to get our community and stakeholders to understand that we are right here, downtown, just off downtown, I should say and then we're vibrant and we have students who are involved and want to get more engaged in the community. So what do you see, what type of activities? Um, I am the Vice President of Community Engagement, so I want you all to, I keep my, I'll keep my door open, so any suggestions you have on how I can get you all connected, please feel free to come and see me. What are some of the things you'd like to see get done? Uh, I'm one of the uh, people that can take it to our president, Dr. Cosby, and maybe make it happen. So, what would you like to see us do better? Um, something that I think would be great, um, like what Evan said, would be reaching out to the community, maybe going to schools like we've done before, and really touching those students who are in the decision-making process. Ah. 
okay. who can directly feed. And so you all need to be our, in our ambassadors program because we have a student. We have a student ambassadors program where you go out and do just what she said. Talk to different students about why to engage and how to engage with them. Is that something you might like? Uh, yes, I've actually um, talked to. I completely forgot his Do name. Dr. Clark or Mr. Blackwell. Or Mr. Blackwell. It was somebody else. Okay. Um, they sent me a list of the criteria. Okay. The only thing that I wasn't able to have was a junior senior status. Ah. Um, and it was the GPA, which I currently do not have. Okay. But I estimated it from mm -hmm. the way that they taught us in high school to estimate our GPA based okay. on um, what our grades currently are. Okay. Well, we hope to get you all involved in those programs and more. And there are always volunteer activities. I think some of the people uh, who handle community outreach is Court Ms. Courtney Stander, who works with Dr. Gray. Always mm -hmm. connect with her, and she's in touch with a lot of community engagement events that we in administration send to her so she can engage the students, okay? Yes. Yeah. So a part of our goal is to make sure you all have a good experience at Simmons College of Kentucky. So what parting words would you give to our audience about why they should come to Simmons? You want to go first? <laughs> um, some parting words on why you should go to Simmons mm -hmm. is because every everybody cares. Okay. Whether it be your teacher or even your fellow student. Okay. Everybody cares about you and everybody's gonna make sure it is that you have what it is that you need to be successful and that you have whatever it is that you need. Perfect. Salem. There <laughs> go ahead in your own words. Um, there is a wealth of resources available and plenty of ways to have access okay. to those. You're in charge of where you want to be and how you want to get there. Oh, wonderful. I couldn't have said it any better myself. So thank you all for being my guest today. Again, these are some of our students in which we pour into every day. And as you can see, they're having pretty good, a decent, uh, good experience here at Simmons College of Kentucky. So join us next week as we salute more of our students, faculty, and staff here at Simmons College of Kentucky. Thank you for joining me this week again on Falcon Focus.